With my sem practically over, I want to talk about my course in hopefully 10 minutes. I want to keep this video short because... Yeah, I don't really have much to say. <laughs> I guess a little bit of an introduction to my first year. Going into college, I was kind of too relaxed. High school wasn't that big of a challenge, I want to say. I breezed through high school, so I was thinking, you know what, college, psh, kaya yan. <laughs> Funnily enough, my first bio subject in Ateneo was my worst subject ever, and it's botany. My worst subject forever has always been plant-related, so this hasn't been exactly the best introduction to Ateneo. This is actually the first subject I got an F in, in an exam, so that was my humbling experience, and from then, I tried to actually put a bit more effort into the subject. The next uh, bio subject was in the second sem, and that's zoology. I actually like the subject because it's more related to animals or to humans because I already figured that my life path at that point was going to be medicine hopefully so everything related to you know similar to humans has been quite easy for me to internalize so zoology was actually my very first A ever. Lab was pretty dope, kind of sad I only got a B plus though. Going into second year I think I became much more mature. I stripped off all my graphic t-shirts and went ahead and became a polo shirt guy that was fun let's fast forward to second year for my third bio subject and that was microbiology yes this class made me a germaphobe for a sem especially because one of the experiments had us uh, touch an agar plate and it showed that your hands have bacteria <laughs> that was kind of disgusting so the next sem second year second sem genetics was my fourth bio subject i barely remember this class because i kept falling asleep I'm sorry, Mam Panis. But then at that point, I didn't have good study habits yet. So, yeah, I think I only got a C plus here. Next bio subject is actually ecology. As someone who is planning to go into biomedical sciences, I think ecology is a pretty interesting topic, especially since the prof is, is pretty good at teaching it. He's one of my close friends, actually. So, yeah, sorry, Sir Ron. <laughs> so, third year, uh, I think I was a different person again third year marco 3.0 try to be more academic i tried to put more effort into my academics but not as much as i did in fourth year and fifth year as if genetics wasn't difficult enough i took uh, my first bio elective which was molecular genetics so yeah imagine genetics like this big genetics microscopic molecular genetics yeah yeah, I think the only good thing about this class was the prof. I liked how he taught it. I like how he teaches, period. But <laughs> the topic itself was just not my forte. So even though I put as much effort as I wanted, the result didn't really show. Third year for SEM, I actually took up positions in orgs here. So I think my attention was divided at this point. I actually joined RIB for the first time in this year. My second subject for this year was actually plant morphology and anatomy. Despite my experience with botany, I actually think that plant morphoana was pretty interesting, more or less because it was more practical or more hands-on as compared to botany. I think that the fact that I can see the plants that we're working with made it easier for me. I think I got a B in this class. And for me back then, that was pretty good already. Before I completely forget, now that I'm reading it, I took biostatistics this year. Although common notion about me, even though I was pretty good in math in the past three maths that I got, biostat was kind of difficult because we had to use this program called R and you have to remember a bunch of like commands and stuff. And statistics in general wasn't really my thing anyway. Although in the later years, I did learn much about statistics. This particular class was just different. And the next subject was actually the next semester already, and that was comparative vertebrate anatomy. So, so this is actually the semester where I started to shift my study habits because I really needed to, in order for me to compensate the fact that compaana was such a heavy load. And the cool thing about this subject is the fact that I got to, uh, what do you call this? I got to dissect cats. It took the application to another level. And it was just, you know, fun being super meticulous about cutting skin, cutting muscles, just so you don't damage it and being graded for it. I also took cell and molecular biology that sem. 
as much as I want to talk about this subject, I can't because I didn't really learn anything. Fourth year. Okay, so fourth year, this is where I actually beasted. This is where I try to do my best and actually just be an actual student at this point with two years left. This is really funny. First subject I want to talk about in this year is histology. This is one of the best subjects I've ever taken. I can vouch for it. Though I can't say that it's easy, the process or the things you learn along the way are going to go a long way. Because, fun fact, the things I learned in histology, I actually carried over the subjects I was taking at the same semester and until this day. At the same year, I was actually taking human anatomy and physiology. This class was more or less based on small group discussions rather than lectures, although some chapters were discussed through lectures. SGDs took up most of our time. So how this class would work is you'd be given a case on Monday, and then at the same class, you would make up learning outcomes. You ask questions you want to know about the subject. Monday night, Tuesday, you'd research. Wednesday, you start discussing about the case. The cool thing about this is some topics from histology actually carried over to this subject so I didn't really need to prepare I just needed my stock knowledge from that subject the next bio class was actually developmental biology not as memorable as I would have hoped some of my friends were talking about how they reached different systems and how they develop I think for the most part I only reached gastrula didn't really study for this because like I said I had histology and human ana so this subject actually took the back burner a lot of times I think I only got a C plus in this subject. <laughs> Next semester, I was going to take one other bio elective and I took endocrinology. It's pretty fun. This was the first class I think that I was uh, classmates with a lot of my friends from fifth year. And it was kind of a big pressure because a lot of them were overachievers. And this class taught me, other than the endocrine system, this class taught me how much more I could become because of how much overachieving the higher years were doing. In a way, they set the standard of what I should become when I eventually go and become a fifth year. And last class of that semester was systematics. This is another like ecology type uh, class. For me, it was kind of difficult because like I said, it's not really my forte, but I still tried my best because I was being more academics oriented. And what I like about this subject is the dichotomous key. It was pretty fun where in a field trip, we were tasked to get insects like a bunch of them and then we had to identify the insects based on what they look and that was pretty fun because you were given dichotomous keys and you have to identify different parts of the insect and you have to basically identify it that way in this semester also we were tasked in finding an institution for our practicum practicum is basically like an internship for some people or some other course at this point we were handling the paperwork for our observership in the medical city. So fifth year actually included the summer, so practicum, I had a 120 hour required stay in the medical city, which was really fun. We were partnered with the Department of Surgery, so I was able to observe a bunch of surgeries. I think I was able to even assist in one or two. It was a thyroidectomy, it was really fun to assist. By assist, I mean ako lang tagahawak na ganun. Fifth year, first sem, I stepped down as the captain of beatbox, passed it down to a close friend. I didn't. I decided not to take any more org positions because I really wanted to focus on myself right before I go into med, hopefully. The first bio subject I want to talk about is plant physiology. Surprisingly, even though it's a plant subject, I enjoyed this because it was the same prof as the Molgen subject. And I like his teaching style and the topic, I guess, because of the shift in my perspective about studying, the topics weren't as hard as I thought they would have been. I just enjoyed the subject a bunch more, I guess because of, you know, my change in perspective. I put more effort into it. Another bioelective I got is cardiorespiratory biology. Basically it talks about the cardiorespiratory system. It was super fun. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I actually sat front row. I kind of have to admit, I tried to beast in this subject a bunch. So this was on the top of the tier of things I studied. And I think it paid off because I got an A in it. Using the machine was really fun where you track your breathing, you track your respiratory volume and all that good stuff. Kind of disgusting because you use the same mouthpiece and you just have to clean it. Although it's clean, you can't get the image of other people shoving it in their mouths out of your head while using it. 
another elective in my fifth year that I took is immunology. The prof was super nice. Uh, she's one of the nicest profs I've had. Quizzes are really dope because she gives uh, bonus points, usually two points each. So for example, uh, the quiz is out of 12. She only counts up to 10. So if you get nine, instead of being nine out of 12, it's actually nine out of 10. But the thing, however, is there was a second half to this subject that I just don't want to talk about. Let's move on for, for my final sem. Uh, second sem, I have only, I have three bio subjects, my last three bio subjects. First I want to talk about is animal physiology. Much like plant physiology, it talks about the physiology of animals. It's pretty fun too. I like the prof. I like the way she teaches, I guess. And the subject matter is kind of related to all the subjects I've been studying in the past. So I don't really put as much effort into it, but I still get the results that I want. So it's fine. So another elective is virology. Same prof as we had in immunology, but this time it's super specific on virology instead. So we're talking about the different life cycle, not really life cycle, rather reproductive cycle of a virus. It's kind of ironic that we're studying virology and we're in a pandemic though. It puts things into perspective because everything that's happening right now is actually being talked about in this class, which is interesting in itself. And last bio elective is gastrointestinal biology and nutrition. I've been waiting for this class for the longest time because a lot of my friends in med school have been recommending this class. I've been beasting in this class, I want to say. Uh, it's a combination of my prof back in histology and my prof in cardio recipe. So I've been trying my best not to disappoint them because, you know, I am fifth year after all, so I should try to be a model student for everyone else. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a weird pressure to give myself. Yeah, I don't know my standing in these fifth year second sem classes because we're gonna get our standing next week. But so far, I think I'm doing pretty well in most of them. Okay, so that pretty much ends this video. Hopefully you guys found this enlightening. Those are pretty much my bio majors and bio electives. This is the old curriculum. I do warn you guys, a new curriculum is in place for other BS biology majors. Hopefully this gives you some sort of insight as to how the BS Bio course is and how I viewed the BS Bio course in general. I do not represent Ateneo by the way. These are all my opinions. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this value adding and entertaining. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe here, but then it's gonna move here. And then next videos down there. So yeah, hopefully I see you guys in my next video. Watch my vlogs, dude. I'm gonna come out with a vlog of Japan. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys.